Well, I'm really pleased to say now that I'm joined by Nikki Holland, uh, who is assistant trainer, of course, to Graham Holland, and she's doing the business over here in the UK whilst husband Graham is holding the fort back at home. Thank you so much for talking to us, Nikki. Uh, six contenders in the Derby for you, and none of them are bigger than 40 to 1. You've got a really good team this year, including the anti post favourite in New In Session. Is he a worthy anti post favourite? 9 to 1 at the moment with Star Sports. Um, it's very short considering he's only had the one look round Nottingham and um, you know ideally we'd like to have in different circumstances given a few more looks I think we found last year most of the dogs you could give them as many looks you know they just get better and better with the few looks so it's it's quite short with the dogs that are in there yeah you know. I do think Nottingham is that sort of track but a lot of people are saying that it will suit him do you would you agree with that would you expect him to get better at Nottingham He'd like, yeah, he's got to improve on his trial time. He did a great sectional there last Wednesday after virtually coming straight from, you know, travelling overnight and coming straight there. Um, felt his way around the first two bends and, you know, just the way the time he ended up doing. You'd like to think he'd improve on that. But he's got a tough heat Saturday. Um, Jesus, couldn't believe it when they were drawn out. Pleased he's in trap one. Kalar Icon two wouldn't have that much early. Um, and the Bocco's dogs, obviously, nice early will be going in. So you need to be coming away quite well. But um, it's all about qualifying and just getting the experience around the track. It is a crazy heat. I couldn't believe it when the dogs came out in the way they did. Would you not prefer to see you in session slightly off the fence? Um, he probably would. But look, he's in one. It, it'd probably be worse if he was drawn out in five or six or something. So uh, if he comes away like he did in his trial, you'd like to think he, he should lead the two. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. We just want to qualify. That's it. Just qualify to start with. Do you think it's fair to say it's been a bit of an unlucky dog so far? He was knocked out in the semi-finals of the produce when he was actually disputing favouritism with Newin Taylor and also knocked out in the first round of the Irish Derby when he found trouble. It's, it's been a bit unlucky so far. Um, it was just, it was an awful heat in the first round of the Irish Derby. We had four of our own dogs drawn in together. Um, Black Parachute, who's also over here for the English Derby, was drawn and he got knocked out. So again, you know, you could say he was unlucky to get knocked out, but maybe it might work out in his favour that he had the time off and was able to come here. Well, you've got the top two in the betting because Lentz and Bocco is next then at 14 to 1. Of course, he needs no introduction. 2019 yeah. Irish Derby winner. Would you agree he hasn't quite looked himself this year? Um, he's probably just, a couple of times he's not really come away as well as he can and he's not been great with the trap draws. He's had some unlucky trap draws and got taken out of his stride within the first you know, couple of strides, dogs coming across him and what have you. And in that class, it, it's important that they hit the ground running and when you're getting knocked that early um, it's just difficult but he's run some great races after being knocked out in the early strides so you know he's settled in well we're happy with what he's doing and um, fingers crossed again it is a tough heat he's got there's some early around him so he needs to come out really well but um, fingers crossed again he again he should improve on his run and we'll see him sparkle hopefully. You're absolutely right. He has got a really tough heat. Uh, he's going to yeah. go for the railer in the derby. Do you think that will help him? I think so. You know, he wants to be coming in, um, whereas last year he was running his line. Now he's trying to come across a little bit. So um, in his trial, he ran his line down in the trial. So I think two will suit him well. You've also got Black Parachute, who lots of people are talking about. I've heard many people like this dog. Uh, he's a 25 to 1 chance, anti post. A very impressive winner, the Michael Fortune uh, Derby Memorial Plate on Irish Derby final night. Now, he maybe lacks a little bit of pace, but is he one that we're going to see keep qualifying? Hopefully so, yeah. I hope you're right. Um, again, yeah, he, he lacks a little bit of early against, you know, say the likes of New In Session and, and Lentz and Bocco, but he stays very well. So as long as he can trap level and stick in there, he, he'd be coming home very strong. He, he gets the 500 very, very well. You know, again, he travelled over, settled in. Um, he didn't fly in his trial, but he can only improve on that. I was going to say, he clocked 30.09. Will you expect him to improve on that? How did he handle the track? Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, again, he seemed to feel his way around there. First look round Nottingham. Uh, um, with this, you know, the hair starts very quick compared to what they'd be used to. Mm. So you'd like to think maybe he'd improve on his section as well and come home better. He's got Wakiki Lad on the inside of him, which is a dog I'm a big fan of uh, in his heat. And he's going to be a short price. Do you think he'll win his heat? Winning's not matter. As long as he qualifies, that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, Feudal Spirit is the next in for you. Also a 25 to 1 chance. This is uh, maybe perhaps more a, a progressive dog. Uh, he did recently win four on the bounce at Shelbourne and 29-29 I saw he clocked in one of his. 
yeah, he's a great all-rounder. You know, he starts, he stays. Um, he was unlucky to get knocked out in the derby. He got knocked out at the start. He got a terrible bump at the first bend and was unfortunate to get knocked out. Um, but I think he'll go well as well. As I say, he starts well, he stays. Typical all-rounder. So, fingers crossed, yeah. Not bad yeah. price. <laughs> yeah, 25 to 1. You've been quite unlucky in the jaws, I think, because he's also got a very tough heat and heat 13 trap. Yeah. Me. What did you make of that I one? I know, lucky, lucky number 13, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Heat? Look, trap three, trap three. So let's hope that gives us gives them a bit of luck. Okay. The oldest of your team, uh, Wolf, thirty three to one. Now I think that's a big price. I really like Wolf. He seems to love Nottingham. Looks very comfortable there. Nice trial as well. Twenty nine yeah. seventy eight. Of course, we can't forget what he did last year, where he sort of checked up. Uh, we, we've never worked out why. Have you? No, never worked out. He's never done anything remotely like that before or since. You know, it's totally. You just. He had to have seen something, something distracted him um, for him to do that because it's very unlike him. So, and did a great trial, stumbled out the boxes and still came up with a good time. So, yeah, he seems to love Nottingham. So, hopefully, he'll love it because I, I think he's got a serious early pace dog in track three in his heat. So, he needs to be coming out very well. Yeah, he does. How would you compare the wolf of this year to the wolf of last year? Um, we've had a few niggles with him. Um, he won the Easter Cup. In Ireland before the lockdown and then coming out of lockdown we had a few niggles and just sort of took a little while to get him back to his best but he flew Derby final night it was really impressive so it looks like he's back there um look if he can go as well as what he did Derby final night he surely hopefully will keep qualifying yeah. and who knows I really think he's one to watch um and finally Ballydor Valor is your biggest prize one at 40 to one uh, a really powerful galloper this one but did he disappoint you a little bit in the Irish Derby? Um, he came out of lockdown, he was going really well and then got knocked out of the Irish Derby. Um, again, ran ever so well Derby final night behind Paul of Annie Chick, who's over again, you know, for the Irish. Um, he's, he likes Nottingham. We bought him last year, but he was probably a bit novicey, you know, and he went back and he grew up and been running very well in Ireland. So, um, hey, look, we'll see how he goes. He's drawn trap one in heat, heat 15. He, I think he can definitely qualify for him. What did you make of it? Um, he's got the very fast Plaza Lep in trap two. So I say we'd be hard pushed to even go down with him. But if we could just follow him round, um, it's all about qualifying. So, and he stays strong enough. So fingers crossed. So Nikki, you're over here staying with uh, Dave Fermager. You're a mum, yeah. obviously, and, and here with your dogs, leaving your husband and kids uh, and your pet dogs, it should be said, at home. Yes. Missing. It's a really tough month for you, isn't it? You, you would normally go back and forth a little bit, but you just can't because of the quarantine rules. Yeah, it's very tough. Um, I couldn't wish to be in a better place and being looked after by Dave and Nicola. They're brilliant hosts and they've really made me feel welcome in every way they're they're just lovely and they've got a fantastic place here and set up which is brilliant um but it is hard being away you know it's great that you've got whatsapp and facetime that i can see the family and everything but it's still you know you miss i've got family birthdays this month and that so it's just it is hard being away you say we normally travel backwards and forwards um and that suits us because the dogs you know are at home and their own environment but I've been here just over the week now and they've settled well. So, and look, hopefully it'll pay dividends in the end. Hopefully. Um, yeah. I think it's a reflection, the fact you have come over, of how much you guys would love to win the, the derby this year. You know, regardless mm -hmm. of the fact it's a little bit different in its format this year, it, it would mean an awful lot to you as a kennel, wouldn't it? And so fresh off the back of winning the Irish derby. I know. It was great to win the Irish derby. Um, and yeah, look, we're, we're English and um, it's always nice to, to come over and support the English derby. And although, you know, it's a different world than when we started off in March, you know, looking towards the Derby, um, it's still nice to be here. And it's great that racing's taken place and that Star Sports are sponsored. And, you know, again, it's brilliant. I do always think, for fact, you're English, maybe we can claim your runners as being English and we just lend you to Ireland. I can't see in fortune letting you do that. <laughs> no, neither can I. Uh, <laughs> important question. I, I'm guessing I'm going to get a very diplomatic answer here. But you could only take one. Who's going to win the derby? Hopefully one of Graham Holland's train dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind which one. It would just be, it'd be brilliant to, um, to win a derby. It'd be brilliant to get to the final. So at this point, we're just hoping to qualify and um, look, let's see what happens. But yeah, any one of them would be great. 
you've been there before you know what it takes and uh, i think you'll go deep into the competition well done for coming over thank you for thank you. watching the star sports greyhound derby and uh, you've got a cracking team i'm going to be seeing you every week for the foreseeable future yeah. so, uh, I'll so. see you at nottingham this weekend good luck nikki thanks very much thank you